let's learn in this class how to make our own uh, user controls uh, custom user controls to do this i have an empty project so i go to add so previously we, we were using a web form now we select web user control name tag and user control so it has a extension as escx where c stands for control so inside this you can design uh, your component using your existing asp.net component here i am going to design one kind of component So one kind of component I'll change the properties I don't want any text so let's see name it as uh, link button date time on the page load I have some code uh, link button date and time dot text equal to i tell you date time dot now dot to string convert the time and the date to string and store it on to the link button so now you have created a control so see when you go to a solution solution explorer here you get a file called as my user control dot ascx so you have to have a container so my container would be the web page here so i need to have a web page in order to store that container store the user control okay, default aspx i have my uh, user control here i have to register this user control to this web page in order to do in order to do that i have something called as at register I have to specify the source where exactly is your user control so when I click on when I type uh, the equal to I get all the user controls which is in my project so here my user control is my user control dot ascx I have to tell the tag name I tell date time date time so I tell you what exactly is tag name and I tell tag prefix equal to I tell dt. So you have successfully registered your user control to your web page. Now you can directly use it. So basically, when you uh, tell C ASP button, so you have ID equal to uh, DTN. So you have run net to server you have run it is equal to server wherein the, this this component should run on server see you have any ASP component whether you take a text box or a button or a link button so it will be prefixed with a uh, with a text called uh, called as ASP ASP so it will have a text as ASP so if I want my user control to have a text, so I'll have something called as tag prefix. So I'll prefix my user control with uh, uh, DT instead of ESP. So here, one more thing I have something called as date and time. So that is a tag name. Here I have something called as button. I have I'm giving a name to my uh, user control that is date and time. So obviously I have to specify the ID and the run it. I tell I tell DT. See, I'm getting uh, the user control here. DT is a tag prefix, and date and time is the name of the control. So I have to specify the ID equal to uh, DT1. I should tell run that because this is an ASP component it should obviously run on server I tell run that on the server so I don't need this button I just remove this so I go to the design part I get the user control here so 
this is how to use to create a user control and if you want to add it to your web page you have to register then you have to add you have to register give the tag name and the tag prefix and the source and add it on to your web page so run the web page you get a link button with time see whenever you click on that link button the time gets changed so you have created a custom user control wherein that acts as a link button while uh, while on the view it is a uh, it displays time so you can also click on it so whenever you click on it the time gets changed you have created a, such a uh, user control so one more way of creating uh, one more way of importing the user control would be suppose i have i'm I have to add one more user control. See, I'm not creating, so I can drag and drop. Sorry. So this is my user control. I drag and drop. Not here. I drag and drop. I can drag and drop. So this this is the same user control as the previous. When you drag and drop, it automatically uh, put this code here and it automatically does this. See, it automatically does this. I click on run. I have two link buttons which is acting as a, a time and date display as well as the link button. This is how you create a link button. You register, you create a, uh, a user control first. Then you have to have a default. Then you have to have a web page to add. So then you have a, you add your uh, user control using you register the user control first. Then you add user control. Then you keep on using. 